when my friends had to change my hygienic pad at a party in high school where I was drunk out of my mind. They gave me a shower to wake me up and took off the used pad and put a new one on and helped me get dressed. Not my proudest moment. Edit. In the same vein, I brushed a friend's teeth after a party BC he was super out of it but hated the taste in his mouth. We put him on a mattress to sleep and I got a new toothbrush with a little bit of toothpaste and gently brushed his teeth as he was laying there smashed. Then I put a water bottle and a bucket next to him and he fell asleep like a baby lol. Important advice, if you are helping a drunk person go to bed make sure you put them in lateral sleep position. They lay on their side and you can use pillows to put against their back and belly to make sure they stay put. If they lay on their back and puke during their sleep they could choke slash drown. Those are some really good friends though. I was once asterisk asterisk extremely asterisk asterisk drunk and staying in a very expensive hotel in Hollywood. I went to bed, as I should. I woke up in the middle of the night and had to pee. I walked through the bathroom door and closed it behind me. I then realized that that wasn't the bathroom door, but rather the room door. I was locked out of my room in a fancy hotel, drunk off my ass, wearing only my underwear. I went to the elevator lobby where there was a phone and called the front desk and explained my situation. They said they would send someone up. I realized I couldn't wait and continued searching for a place to pee and found a janitor closet with a rolling mop bucket in it. I took a giant piss in the mop bucket and then walked back to my room door where a bellhop who really didn't want to look me in the eye let me back into my room. I'm very sorry Mondrian Hotel. I love this. It's the Mondrian they've seen worse and much weirder. You're fine. When I was with my ex, we did some long distance for a while. While I'm not about sending nudes, after not seeing each other for a long time you kinda get an urge to see the other person naked. So, nudes were exchanged. She was mostly interested in close-ups of my erect p asterisk asterisk asterisk, so I sent those. Upon returning home I discovered that she had set a picture of my erect p asterisk 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 as my profile picture in her phone. Meaning that if I'd call her, my p asterisk 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 would be presented on the screen in all its glory. I told her this was a very stupid idea, what if I'd call, and her phone was laying around somewhere? She said she never had her phone laying around so no one would see. I didn't think much of it. Few weeks later we were having dinner with her parents, and she was talking about getting a new phone. Her father, with a straight face, and in between two bites of his food, remarked gee, if you get this new phone, does that mean you'll install a different picture for when he calls you? I died a thousand deaths. She wasn't very bright about that one haha. My HSGF and I were having sex in the sideways laying down cuddling position. Mom walked in to show me a new Christmas decoration. To her it looked like we were just cuddling. But she sat on the bed inches away from me actively inside her and proceeded to talk about the decoration for like 10 minutes. I wonder if she knew. They never cared much about that stuff, so I think she was just oblivious. Same thing happened to me, except her mom put her hand on my leg while she kept talking on a tangent for 5 minutes. I felt myself slip out. When I was 12 my younger sister walked in on me playing fondle the dangle. I told her I couldn't pee and was trying to force slash pump it out. She told my mom out of worry, said I needed a doctor to help me pee. When mom confronted me about what my sister was saying I then had to explain it to her. TBH this is a caring way to explain it and keep your sister from having to learn things too young and sweet that she was concerned enough to try to get you to the doctor. Had sex in a car park and a passing driver tried to high five me, still haunts me. Is it because you missed the high five? Otherwise, who cares? I tried to make a dildo out of a hot glue gun. This is some 5 minute craft stuff. In middle school my friend got her boobs and she wanted me to touch them. We probably spent 30 minutes every day before school groping each other in the back of the library until the librarian caught us and we were suspended. I wish I could say I enjoyed it, but going to first period with a raging boner was not ideal every day. I love the use of the phrase got her boobs, as if she ordered them from somewhere. 
Oh god, when I was like 13, my mother walked in on me using her vibrator. The look on her face went from incomprehension to shock to utter disgust over the span of a second or two. She stayed calm and explained how it wasn't appropriate or sanitary for me to do that, but I just remember how unsmiling and tense she was, totally unlike I'd ever seen her. Decades ago but still cringe so much recalling it. At first I thought you meant she walked in, using her own vibrator. Like she was just roaming the house having a w asterisk 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 mayo. My dad caught me editing the game files of the sims to replace the female underwear textures with underwear that just makes them look nude. Looked up reference material and edited them in photoshop. That a lot of effort to put into something so depraved. They had mods that did that for you man. Even with the first one. When I was around 13 y slash o, my brother walked into me trying to suck my own dick. Upside down, but in the air, hunched over. We've all tried it. I was violently ill. In my Finn case house, where we were living. While he was at work, and his dad was work from home. I needed my mom to take me to the hospital. I screamed for my father-in-law's help who entered the bathroom to my nude body, shitting and puking at the same time in his bathtub. He called my mom for me, and we never spoke about it. He was probably just as mortified by the scene, best for everyone to just forget and move on. Thought no one was home. I got full on railed by my partner, and I was really loud. Turns out my mom was home. Yikes I had something similar, except we left the door open. Filmed myself jacking the old hammer on the family tape recorder. Put the little mini tape under my mattress and my mom found it when she was cleaning my room. Yes, she watched it. Edit. I don't know why I did it. Horny teenager. I don't know how much my mom watched. My dad informed me my mom found it, asked if I was trying to be a porn star, and told me he burned the tape. Yes, she watched it. To the end. 13y slash o and horny. I dug a p asterisk 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 size hole in the ground, filled it with axle grease and fucked it. Nine months later Lightning McQueen was born. I thought God would kill me for masturbating when I was little, so I barely ever did it, but the house would know when I was doing it because I'd yell I'm sorry God. My family wasn't even religious, I didn't even know where I got that idea from. Somehow the idea of your parents being non-religious makes this s asterisk 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 so much funnier. Like, instead of being disappointed, they're just thoroughly confused by their weird kid. I grew up in an incredibly rural area with dial-up internet. I was only able to load nude images from the top down. I finished before it loaded past the neck. My fetish is a pretty face and a beautiful happy smile. Do you get hot and flustered when you see those photos of happy people eating salads? A cheap bachelor party dildo melted in my bedside drawer after the ack in my room broke for a week, but I didn't know that until I got my hand stuck in it in front of a guy who was asking me out. I opened the drawer and reached in looking for my chapstick while we were talking, and to my absolute horror, I couldn't pull my hand back out. It was completely stuck to something. It turns out that a fake silicone vibrator I got as a gag gift melted around the three other real silicone ones and then started to cure again. It was like half dry super glue. But yeah no. Shaped like a four headed dick. It looked asterisk w-e-a-p-o-n-i-z-e-d and crucially, it was stuck to my fucking hand. The dude tried to help me, but he just ended up getting it on his hands too. We had to take turns spraying each other with scalding hot water to get it off. I've never been so mortified in my life. Needless to say, we never saw each other again. A weaponized four-headed vibrator sounds absolutely hilarious and terrifying at the same time. During a yoga class my pants split open. I pointed down at my crotch to ask the teacher if I was doing this right before seeing my member hanging out on the floor. Jumped up as soon as I saw, leaving a stammering teacher behind me. It was his first class, after graduating from training as well. Are you not supposed to wear underwear under yoga pants? When I was a teenager I was obsessed with Nirvana. 
I had all of their albums, a bunch of shirts, and a bunch of books, including a couple conspiracy theory books about him being murdered. Anyway, I got grounded and had all technology taken away from me. One day I was super horny and having trouble whacking it without porn. I was mid-whack when I remembered that there was, for some fucking reason, a photo in one of the conspiracy books of Courtney Love's tits. For two weeks straight, sometimes multiple times a day, I jerked off to Courtney Love's tits in black and white. Shameful. Come as you are. First time I looked at porn I got a virus on my laptop, it turned my camera on and locked my laptop. Said this is the FBI pay x fine. I was white as a ghost and went and told my mum and dad. Stupid me didn't realize it was fake until dad showed me it was bullshit. The fright of it got me. To this day dad still laughs about it and comments about it randomly. Really this is my most upvoted comment? I'm glad you all enjoyed me having to tell my parents I was beating my meat. Thanks for the silver too. I also got this virus as a teen. First thing I did was to text my best friend so he could bring me to the police station the next day so that I can explain myself. Thankfully I pressed the restart button shortly afterwards, which fixed everything lol. I once tried to smack a girl's a asterisk asterisk when she was riding me and whacked myself square in the balls. It made an audible thwack and we had to stop for a bit while I doubled over in pain. We had a good laugh about it, but I really thought my aim was better than that. I'm waking up. To ash and dust. I miss her a asterisk asterisk, and I slap my nuts. When I was about 10, my parents were out, so I looked up some porn on the family computer. Mistake number 1, then I kept hearing noises and thought someone was in the house. So I ran to my room and called my dad, leaving to computer on. Mistake number 2, my dad rushed home and went around the house looking for an intruder. No one was there. It was just my next door neighbors. We have a semi-detached house. Then obviously saw what I was looking at on the computer and asked me about it. I told him the intruder must have broken in and searched it up. So, an intruder came into the house, saw the computer and started watching porn and left. I was very young like 10 or younger, and I would stay up late at night to look at porn. I was in the 90s so there was no porn hub or anything, and I was mostly just looking up porn site and get excited at the free sample. One night, all of a sudden, I feel a lot of guilt for looking at porn and felt like I did something evil. I walked up to my mum, crying, and basically turned myself in of looking up porn as if I killed someone. To my mum's credit, she didn't mock me or yell at me or anything. She just laughed a little and gave me a talk about how it is okay to be attracted to woman and want to see naked body, just need to do it in a safe and healthy manner. Looking back, I'm always very embarrassed about the whole incident, but also a little proud of my mum for being so open and chill. You got a good mom. So many people shame their kids. It's sad. I used to read some weird erotica when I was younger as I hated all porn in video form. I distinctly remember reading one of that had women in stalls like cows. They kept using this term hue cow which at the time I didn't realize was obviously a mashup of the word human and cow. I didn't think much of it, but one time I was talking to a friend and I was trying to remember the term for a female cow. My brain thought hue cow and I almost said it before catching myself. I know they probably wouldn't have caught on, but it killed me inside that I almost said something from some pretty weird porn. Yeah. Trying to remember the term for a female cow. This is the most fucked up part of the story. I mean, it's a cow. I was 8 and fed up of seeing older people in porn, so I decided to search naked 8 year olds. The FBI definitely have my 8 years old a asterisk asterisk on some wild list. I, as an 11 year old girl, looked up 11 year old girls breasts bc I wanted to see if I was developing properly, couldn't find any topless pics, so I believe I did look up naked 